So basically, I look so much like a paedophile, if I was a paedophile, I'd probably get away with it. <laughs> People would be like, he'd surely cover it better than that. <laughs> but yeah, there's a few reasons I look creepy. Uh, the first one is the fact that I'm six foot seven, which technically makes me tall enough to ride most fairground rides twice. Uh, but yeah, like, here's something you won't know about being six foot seven, right? I can't see the little engage signs on public toilet doors at all because of the angle. Just can't see them. So this led to me recently being in a cinema in Leeds, which uh, unbeknownst to me had unisex toilets, coming along trying to find myself a cubicle, when a young lady opened the door of hers to find me like this. <laughs> With my head like six inches from her crotch at this point. She's just like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, no, don't worry, I was just trying to see if it was red. Which... <laughs> Didn't help. Incidentally, that's how in 10 seconds you go from needing a shit to needing a lawyer. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Don't need to do anything else, I'll just wait here till you're finished. <laughs> but yeah, another reason I look weird, obviously, is the way I dress. Uh, I think what's odd about it is basically um, I've got the bottom half of a homosexual and the top half of a homophobe. Which is a weird mix, it's like down there looks huge dicks up here about you kid. It's, uh, it's a weird mix but mathematically it works because I'm actually bang in the middle of those two things because I'm not gay but I don't think I rule anything out in life. It's like right now if you put a penis in front of me I'd just be like, Ugh, no that is disgusting to me, not interested. But six months ago I would have said the same thing about olives. And now, can't get enough of them. Say, maybe the same thing will happen, like, I'll go into a Greek restaurant. <laughs>